Bone throwbacks, baby. What's good? See, bone throwback. Finally, over here to my left, I have to introduce you. This is my Asian persuasion. This is one of my closest friends. One of my few closest girlfriends, Danette, aka China. You know, so many names over the years. <laughs> you already know what's going on. First time she, I haven't seen her months. She's been oh so God. busy. Yeah. It's been forever. Yeah, it's been forever. How are we going to start? I want to start. I want to introduce and tell them a few things about you. How long have we known each other for? Oh, God, since we're like teenagers. Teens, actually. Teens. We lived together before. Yes. We've been through ups and downs together. Many ups and downs. Yes. We've been, we we living together. That was a experience right there. Remember and it was that? actually around this neighborhood. Yes, it was. 233rd, Jamaica land. Mm-hmm. Hood, right? Yes. That's when you was hood. I was not that hood. <laughs> she was <laughs> a little hood. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask you a few questions for our viewers, you know. Mm -hmm. Danette, first question. Gay people. You, since I've known you, is like a magnet. I just don't know what it is. For gay people. <laughs> a magnet for gay people. What do you think it is? What attracts gay people to you? What attracts you to gay people? I just don't know. I just, you know what it is? I just look at them regular people. They're like my friends. And, you know, I just think they're all fabulous. That's one thing about gay people. They're very fabulous. What Do you like gay friends as friends better than regular girlfriends? Or <laughs> You know what? Honestly, yes. You know, I have a few girlfriends, which they're very close to me. And on one hand, you can count them? Yes. And those are my girls forever. And then my gay friends, it's just like they're friends for life, you know? Mm hmm yeah, she's being a little PG right now for y'all. <laughs> I am. Because I'm an engaged woman, so you know. Oh, you're engaged? Yeah, let's show them the ring. Okay, engaged. How is that going? Great. <laughs> Tell me about being engaged. How is it? Because you've been in a few relationships. And yes, I have. You've been in some great relationships. And some bad ones. Okay. And define. We have to kiss some frogs before we get to our prince, but finally I got to my prince. What makes him your prince? You know what? He's everything. Like, you know, when. You are apart from that person. You miss them so much. And you just want to be with them. And you really don't care about just, you know, going to hang out with your friends or going to the club. You just want to be with him and spend time. It doesn't even matter if you spend time, like, just sleeping. But you just, as long as you're with that person. No matter what. No matter what. So what makes them different from other people you've dealt with? If you had to say one thing, one word, what makes them different? He's, you know what? He truly cares one about... Word. Me. Being with me. Okay. You. Just me. Not he's about you. Yeah, he's about me. It's not about me being a trophy wife or a trophy girlfriend. It's just okay. me. Alright. Now, next thing. I've known you for many years. You've had many professions. Mm -hmm. what, what? Tell them what you... Tell them some of your professions you've had from the beginning to now. I was a sales girl. <laughs> and a uh, bartender. Yeah, you was a bartender. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bartender, then what? Um... I just worked in real chef. estate. Oh, chef. Let me tell y'all something. She cooked so good. And she went to culinary school. That's the crazy thing. Mm -hmm. And what's your newest thing that you've been doing that you really I've passionate been about? I've always into cosmetics. I was uh, I was always at makeup. That's one thing. And I kind of made that my career. And then I decided to even make myself more marketable. So I went back to school to become a hairdresser. Which now I'm a cosmetologist, so I am certified to do both hair and makeup. Okay. And also I do extensions. I'm excellent with extensions and color. All right, ladies. I'm gonna get behind the camera so she can break this down. Need her. Tell the extensions. Tell them about the extensions. Okay, I do these extensions. They're um the method that I do is the like confusions, but uh instead of using that hot glue stuff, it's hair clips, these uh, hair um, beads, and what I do is take pliers, which I know sounds crazy, but it's not. You clip them onto the hair, I can do them individually, which I prefer not to do in the individuals one, just for my own experience as, you know, being a hairdresser and knowing things and also doing it on myself and having it done to myself, I know what is good and what is bad. And individuals tend to break your hair because when your hair grows out, it's all hanging on a thin strand of hair and so the more it grows it gets heavier and heavier and then it pulls on the roots and that's where a lot of girls tend to go thinning back here and the, you know the nape area the hair lines in the front so the tracks what I like to do is with the tracks and when your hair grows they grow together and it still has a support 
a strong support even though it's growing out. Um, my main focus is, like I said, is hair and makeup. Makeup so has been my passion, my everything. I'm actually working on a few things of coming out with my own little cosmetic line and my own hair product line where it's going to help girls who have color treated hair, chemical damaged hair, you know, we tend to, you know, color our hair, relax our hair, perm our hair, and we damage it. So I'm trying to start this new organic line. So look out for that. Organic? And, um, you have a name for it already? I don't have a name for it because I don't want to kind of just give any name because this is my baby. So it's very... I know how you are when it comes to projects you got. Yeah, and I'm going to, once it comes out, the name will be on it. But it's going to be amazing because I actually tried it on myself. I'm... I used to have very thin hair, short, very damaged from all the stuff I've done. Coloring, right? Coloring. Over the years. Uh, I even put relaxer, <laughs> put a hot comb through it, everything. <laughs> Anything you can think of, I've done. I went from, I probably dyed my hair maybe like six times in one day, which it turned green. I don't know if you remember, <laughs> since so it turned green. Uh, I remember when you used to do blonde hair? Uh-huh. <laughs> I bought my hair right here, and... I started um, deciding to take up the extensions and kind of like nursing my hair back to health and trying to get it to the way it is that when I was younger. So I started using this product that I made and for the last few months, my hair has become fuller, thicker, longer. Um, and you was one to wear, you, was, you wore extensions, right? Yes. So, uh, yeah, because you were, I've known, you know, known you to be doing extensions for the last few I years. I had bad split ends, the split ends. I have instead of you know like we use silicone silicone seals our split ends this actually take care of our split ends and make it better and it just tries to get it healthier so now I started using this product on one of my girlfriends which the first time she saw a difference and I told her guaranteed after three or four news She's going to see how amazing her hair is. You know, after she left, she said that her hair was much fuller, bouncier, silkier, and shinier. What's the, now question, as far as the extension, what's the best hair you would say to purchase for the extensions? Brazilian, Remy Virgin. You know, I'm... You like bundle hair, pack hair better? I like, it depends on what you're looking for. Well, bundle hair, you know... It all depends what you're looking to do and things like that. Because pack hair, you know, it comes and it's just for a certain amount, you know. Bundle, it's different. But my favorite hair, actually now that I became a fan of, is a, vir a Brazilian virgin hair. I'm not a fan of girls buying hair and then like dyeing it. Because I feel like the texture's never the same. So you don't think they should do ombres and stuff like that? Because I've seen some of they that. Can, yeah, they should do ombre, but I suggest to get the ones that are already processed. Okay. Why do you if say you that? You can. Because it's, you know what it is? Remember, you're not getting hair off of one person's head. You're getting it from a different groups of girls. <laughs> so you don't know how the hair is going to You think these people out. are really Brazilian? Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I just really needed to know that. Okay. No, I well, we're we gonna give a two a part two later on this because you're giving a lot of good tips, and you know I have a very very large viewership. What I want to ask you is some makeup tips. What are some good makeup tips that you would tell people? I say right now we're going into spring. Get rid of all your winter stuff because winter <laughs> stuff tends to be more you know heavier, more like just. Now it's like let's start to brighten up your makeup, you know, like right now I'm wearing a red lip, which is kind of like a winter color, but it is transitioning into spring. So I kind of like will wear this until like probably like maybe another two weeks and then I'll stop wearing this red because when you go to spring, you will tend to want to be brighter, more uh, glowy and you know, because it's like you're close to summer, you want to feel good. It's like... You want to get rid of all that stuff that's like that harsh winter feel and look, which I love winter looks, don't get me wrong, because winter looks, the smoky eye, you know, the beautiful cocktail. What kind of wardrobe? You know, First, mix. First, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Peter, I love you, but I am a fur girl, so please. 
This is what Mother Nature put these animals for. Here, too. <laughs> that numb? Yes. You, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I gotta come next time before we close this out for part two. I need to stay warm. Wait a minute. So you think that these animals are put here for us so we can skin them and put them on us? Yes. And to eat them. And it... <laughs> Sorry. We will come back for if a If I offend too. anybody, I apologize. You know, if you're a vegan, more power to you. You know, I'm not here to judge anyone because you know what? I have my own flaws. But um, to each its own. We shouldn't criticize anybody for the way they live. And I am a big fan of fur, so. Boom, go back. Part two coming. We about to go eat. We're going to bring the camera with us for that.